Hello everyone, welcome back, here's Van Amsen. Today we got an uh, interesting problem to solve counting bits from Litcode. So it's a fairly easy problem, but uh, a trick lies in solving it in linear time. So if you are ready, let's jump in. So here is the problem. We are given an integer, uh, let's say n, and we need to return an array of length uh, n plus one. And uh, if uh, element in the array must represent the number of ones in the binary representation uh, of i. So to give uh, you a better uh, idea, let's look at some example. So if n is 2, the binary representation uh, of 0, 1, and 2 are 0, 1, and uh, 1, 0. So uh, as here, and uh, respectively. So the output should be uh, 0, 1, 1. And uh, so now uh, that we understand the problem, let's dive uh, into solution. So the key to solving this problem is dynamic programming. And the intuition is that the number of ones in the binary representation of number is 1 plus the number of ones in the binary representation of the number obtained after removing the least significant bit. So uh, how we can uh, implement it? Let's implement and I will explain. So result will be initial to zero uh, n plus one and for i in range of one to n plus one, we use dynamic programming. So result at one, i will be result a bit shift right plus uh, binary and to result uh, as return. So what we did, so first we initialize uh, an array of size uh, n plus one with all zeros. Then for each number uh, from one to n, we calculate the number of ones in uh, its binary representation by adding one to the number of ones in the binary representation of the number obtained by right shifting the current number by one. Uh, which is equivalent to dividing it by two. So uh, this is done in the uh, line result i, uh, result uh, right bit shift uh, one and one, uh, i and one. So this is where the magic happens. So uh, i shifting right, so uh, this part uh, is a right shift operator, which is equivalent to integer division by two. And uh, i uh, bit one checks if the current number is odd. And if it is, uh, it uh, adds one to the uh, count. So uh, let's run our code for a given test cases to verify uh, it's working. So uh, two, and we have uh, output zero, one, one. So everything as expected. Uh, so now we can run it also for unsynthesis cases. So it will be first run of this task. And we can see that, uh, yeah, it's quite efficient. We beat 99.6% with respect to uh, runtime and also 30% with respect to memory. So all good. And in essence, we have leveraged the property of binary numbers uh, and dynamic programming to solve this problem efficiently. So even though the problem is marked as easy, uh, the optimized solution provides a good exercise for uh, problem solving skills. Uh, if Python isn't your language of choice, don't worry, uh, check out the video description for uh, the solution in Java, C++ and JavaScript, and you can implement the same logic in your uh, preferred uh, language. So uh, that's it for today uh, episode. I hope you found this explanation helpful. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more coding solutions, tutorials, and much more. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss uh, an episode. So until next time, keep practicing, keep coding, keep improving, happy coding, and see you next time.